All right, I'm going to try this again. The earlier video that I recorded, pretty lengthy, had some messed up audio. Uh, so this is back to uh, recording uh, through VNC. And what we're going to do is set up uh, Elasticsearch and Kibana in DragonOS Vocal. And then we'll use that to receive the Sparrow Wi-Fi uh, Elastic Agent. Uh, that's going to be sending back uh, wireless and Bluetooth information into Elasticsearch and then we'll take a quick look at uh, Kibana. Um, there's a whole lot of stuff uh, that you can do there and this is uh, a really good reference on DigitalOcean on how to probably set it up more secure than what I'm about to show. I'm just going to show how to get this up and running uh, pretty quick and using Wyvern uh, that I created for the Pi, the headless uh, 20.04 image that's going to be our uh, sensor. I had also uh, wanted to use the NUC and the Blade RF as the wireless monitor mode interface uh, but unfortunately I don't have a Bluetooth adapter and it appears you need both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi for the elastic search uh, or the elastic agent on the spare Wi-Fi to work. Uh, maybe that'll be changed but that's just the way it is right now. So and then just a quick thing I'll point out over here, we're going to run the remote agent on the Pi 4 and then there is more information about the Elasticsearch uh, integration and what we're going to do there. So I'll minimize this for a second. We're going to set up a couple things uh, that uh, we need on the DragonOS Focal and I'll copy and paste all this into the description but we're going to pull over what we need uh, to get our repository set up to pull in Elasticsearch and Kibana. We would uh, do a sudo update. I had already previously pulled in Elasticsearch, so that's probably why we see all that spit out there. We'll go ahead and set up Elasticsearch. drop uh, to root and we'll do a sudo su and we're gonna edit a couple things and the elastic search uh, Etsy elastic search elastic search dot yml file come down we're gonna take this network host and uncomment that and we'll change it to 127.0.0.1 we're going to add an, a line we're going to call it HTTP host and we're going to make it the IP address of the uh, our interface that we have here uh, in this case uh, my Ethernet port on DragonOS Focal leave everything else as is and we can do well, we could come back out of uh, root for a second and do a sudo system C ctl start elastic search. That should start up the service and we can check. Well, I got a good reference here. You should be able to come down here and they give you a, an example this curl statement um, that you can use to make sure let's see and we need to change the IP address 2.168.0.132 boom we get our information so now that that's running we'll do an install of Kibana and I'm just doing, like I said, the repository way. I mean, you could do other ways. This has just worked out for me. And 
and we'll go ahead and get another window set up and we're going to SSH our Wyvern uh, Pi 4 set up here with the default user of Ubuntu password of Dragon. We're going to change to our user source Sparrow Wi-Fi and this is on the Pi and you can keep track that's Ubuntu whereas the Dragon OS Focal is Dragon and we'll go ahead there's one oh, there's two things that uh, and I'm gonna install in future images whether it's for the Pi or the uh, full Dragon OS we need these two packages here to use this Elasticsearch part of uh, Sparrow Wi-Fi and uh, I've already installed them but just to show what's needed so that should take care of the Pi now back over to the laptop running Dragon OS we'll do a, a systemctl start of Kibana and if we do let's see give it a second you can check logs you have to drop to root and then go into the uh, var log Kibana and you can see what's going on there but let's take a look at uh, localhost 5601 okay give it a little longer and actually let's stop this for a second I forgot there's a change we need to make because we changed that uh, HTTP host um, we're going to make a change to the Kibana while that's deciding if and when it's going to stop let's pull open another window we'll drop to root we'll edit the Kibana Kibana.yml file and we'll come down and we'll uncomment the Elastic, Elastic Search host and we'll punch in that 192.168.0.132 which is the IP address of this machine alright that should take care of that alright while this is still waiting to so stop over here we'll save some time we're going to jump over here to the Raspberry Pi and we'll get another window open as well. It's the same thing. So we got two windows open on the Pi. Let's go back over here. Let's start the Kibana service. We'll give it a little bit. there we go all right so now we have uh, the Kibana and Elastic uh, talking to one another we'll just minimize that for a second we will minimize the, dra the Dragon OS Focal and now we'll focus on the Raspberry Pi Wyvern image and so in one window we will start the Sparrow Wi-Fi agent and that should pick up both the um, Bluetooth and the wireless uh, 
matter of fact I, I can't remember if I said already I'll stop that for a second actually have two interfaces plugged in because the monitor mode uh, on the built-in wireless on the Pi is not working with this Wyvern image and 20.04 the patches Nexmon don't look to work yet uh, so I have one of the gray older alpha cards plugged in so that's coming up as WLAN 1 and you could just do a sudo ifconfig WLAN 1 up at least make sure it's up that way when you do the spare Wi-Fi agent it uh, it does see the blue f uh, yeah, Bluetooth capabilities and if I had a GPS puck uh, USB uh, plugged in uh, Sorry, I guess I'll show one more thing. I show this every time, but you would edit the Etsy default GPSD file. And in this case, on the Wyvern image, I've already uncommented a lot of this, so it's just looking for that uh, USB style GPS, TTY, uh, USB 0 with those settings, but uh, I don't have one plugged in. But if you did have one plugged in, that's a pretty cool feature of the Spare Wi Fi remote agent is that uh, GPS will be used and then associate the locations with the um, wireless and Bluetooth. Alright, so that's open in one window. Another window, we're going to copy another command I've put together and I'll put this in, remember to, remember to put this in the description. Alright, so in the other window, we can see we're calling the Sparrow Elastic file, and we're telling it the Elastic server is that IP address of the Dragon OS Focal, 132, port 9200. We give it a Wi Fi index for Elastic Search, just calling it Sparrow Wi Fi 1. The agent is the local host running on the Wyvern, the Pi itself. The Wi-Fi interface, I'm telling it is WLAN 1, and then I'm giving it a Bluetooth index of Sparrow BT1. Hit enter. We should get a successful connection to the Elasticsearch. There, there it tells you. You might get like a little warning or something, uh, but it is running. And, uh, you know, you could uh, script this out. You can do things to automate this or push it to the background with screen so your terminals don't die. But now if we come over here to Elasticsearch or the Kibano interface. We'll just say explore on my own. Come over here. We'll go down to Stack Management. We'll go under Kibana and we'll say index patterns. And I'll create an index pattern and you'll see already that the spare Wi-Fi agent is sending the two indexes that we've um, set up there. Oop, let's see. So we'll go ahead and spare Wi-Fi dash one. And we'll give it a uh, time field at the timestamp. So now we can see all the fields, 60 plus fields, that are uh, being uh, filled out. You could do, there's, there's probably numerous different ways. I'll be honest, I'm uh, rather new to Kibana. So, dash one. And there's 50 fields in there. So now there's, uh, well, so there's uh, a lot of different options here, both a dashboard and discovery. I'll just I'll create a quick uh, dashboard here by creating a panel. We'll use the lens, and then so there's a lot of different fields you can pick from. I'm not going to throw any over here that uh, is going to. Uh, reveal any um, MAC addresses or anything like that but you could uh, do that and SSIDs and so you can 
see here the uh, values on, on the channels 1, 11, 6, 9, and 10. as an example uh, but you could fill this out with uh, a lot of different things SSIDs um, and then the cool thing if we did have GPS looks like uh, there'd be the associated uh, locations Let me refresh this real quick There'd be the uh, locations here that uh, could be associated. So uh, that's just a quick down and dirty getting uh, set up with Elastic Search, uh, Kibano, and then the Elastic a uh, Sparrow Wi-Fi agent. Um, I'll take a, a another look at uh, something else maybe in the future, uh, gray logs and enzyme. Uh, it's another pretty cool setup, but. Uh, I want to get around to getting a Bluetooth adapter and getting the knock online because uh, I, I like the fact that that's using the SDR, uh, in that case the Blade RF as a wireless interface, so be pretty cool. I want to be able to do exactly what I'm doing now but with the Blade RF and uh, I think that'd be pretty awesome. So, alright, there you go. Uh, hope you enjoy.